The snow was adding up on the seacoast. So was disappointment on this Valentine's Day. Reservations and plans were canceled even as the parking garages were full. WMUR's Jennifer Crompton is live at our Portsmouth Bureau tonight with that story. Jen. Well, you know, it, the snow is piling up. The wind is blowing it all around. You know, this was supposed to be a, a big weekend for restaurants and hotels in the area. Valentine's Day falling in the middle of this three-day holiday weekend and adding to that a fire and ice festival for five days to add to the draw. But, you know, as soon as these flakes started to fly, the extra cancellations began to take in. As early Valentine's diners enjoyed a special night out, the calls were coming in. You're going to cancel? The snow piling up outside the Blue Mermaid, a knife in the heart of what was supposed to be a big weekend for Portsmouth businesses. Well, we had 180 reservations yesterday, and we're down to about 90. Some people braved the storm's arrival on principle. This is our 42nd Valentine's Day together, so we always do the same thing. <laughs> snow or not. Yes. Snow or not. But many either lived fairly close or had already booked rooms. There's been so much snow. We've been trapped inside for so long. It's just actually nice to be somewhere different looking out the window <laughs> at the snow. Unfortunately, they'd also come for the Fire and Ice Festival, which was canceled. Empty ice bars and sculptures across the city all that remain of festivities that would have run through Monday. It's a disappointment because we've invested a lot of time and energy and sponsors have put in a lot of money for the event, but at the same time we have to consider the safety of the employees, volunteers, and the people who'd be coming out. On Sunday, I believe the majority of the businesses in Portsmouth will be closed. Well, hotels, they had some cancellations too, but one manager told me she was actually able to fill some of those rooms with guests who needed to extend their stay to ride out the storm. Reporting live in Portsmouth, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.